If you want the best schemes created by the best players in the world, head over to acemadden.com, get yourself a membership, and make sure to use code ACE for 10% off at checkout. What's up guys, it's your boy Ace from acemadden.com, and today I'm going to show you guys a super annoying run scheme. Now, it does have balance to it. It's not just one-dimensional. You can pass out of it because it is trips tight end combined with another formation. So there is, you know, pretty good balance. So if you like to have be a little bit unpredictable, this will be for you. And it's kind of annoying because you do run with your quarterback a lot. So if you're that kind of guy, then definitely keep watching because it's pretty annoying. Now, before I get into the breakdown, just want to say a quick thanks to all of you who dropped a like on yesterday's video. It got over 150 likes very very quickly so i will be dropping that nickel normal scheme sometime soon let's do the same thing with this vid if this video gets over 200 likes i will drop a free offensive scheme i don't know which formation yet but i will drop it so 200 likes takes you two seconds greatly appreciate it and of course if you enjoy the content make sure you subscribe so let's get into the breakdown when i did my top five offensive playbooks i did put the patriots at number one and this is one of the reasons so we are in the New England Patriots playbook. And we're going to first go to Trips tight end. And bear with me, this intro is going to be a little bit longer than usual because we have to set up some audibles and personnel and stuff. We do have timestamps. If you guys want to jump around, you can do that. Okay, so Trips tight end. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit Y, which is going to go to our substitution. And we're going to put our running back here at our outside slot position. So it's going to be the middle receiver. You're going to put our running back there. I said the number one thing that matters is speed. Now, if he has speed and route running, that's even better, of course, because then you can really just pass to him consistently. But overall, speed is what matters most. So put him there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit LT. What well, Actually, click the formation and then hit LT or L2. That's going to bring up our custom audibles. We're going to do inside zone, 45 quick base, verticals, MPA counter, go. The other formation we're going to be using is going to be pistol weak. Click the formation, hit LT or L2, custom audibles, halfback zone weak, triple option, Y corner, power option. Okay, so let's actually get into the breakdown. So when you go to trips tight end, you're going to come out in this formation and you're going to select quarterback power. We'll go against a random play. Now, I don't want to just make it seem like this play is busted because it's not, you know, there are certain things opponents can do to really kind of take this play away, but that's fine. The reason that this formation is really good is you have really good pass plays. Both of these plays are really good. And then you also have two really good run plays going to the opposite side of the field, your strong side, actually. And uh, they do two different things. So whatever formation they're in, you can kind of take advantage of, of it with the uh, pulling guard or, you know, or if you just use the inside zone blocking. So, when you come out in this formation, you want to make sure your trips is on the wide side. So if you're new to the game, what that means is if you look in the middle of the field, there are two sets of hashes. If the ball is on the right, you want your trips to be on the left. The reason for that is you want to have the most space on your strong side. So you can kind of have like a lot of room to work with, with those receivers. So like I said, ball on the right, trips on the left. Or if you want to look at it a different way, you could say, I want my tight end on the short side. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is the first thing we look for is a cornerback on the short side is there a cornerback on the short side the answer is yes typically if there is you do not want to run quarterback power i'll show you what happens well he ends up dropping because he's not in a run fit but if he is in a run fit like he's manned up or he's in a cloud flat he is going to come down and blow this run up so let's go ahead and look at it we get really good blocking actually actually the running back doesn't give us good blocking but he gives us a chip that gives us enough room to get to the edge but what I'm talking about is this player right here. Typically, if he's on this side of the field, I really don't want to run quarterback power because, like I said, if he's in a run fit, which basically means if he's supposed to play the run first, then he's going to blow it up because he's going to be a free player. We do not have an extra blocker to account for him. But we are lucky in that case. So right here, it looks like they have, you know, multiple people over there on that side. We do not want to run quarterback power. It will get blown up. So what we're going to do is we're going to run either quick base or inside zone. To be completely honest with you, they're both really good. And you're just going to have to try them both and find out which one is working better against your opponent. But we'll stick with inside zone here. And you're going to get consistent yards 
when they don't have that cornerback on the same side. So in this case, we have a perfect example. We look on the right side of the field, they do not have a cornerback over there. So this is gonna be the perfect time to actually run quarterback power. Now this is a somewhat advanced tip. I mean, it's not like hard to do or anything, but this is an extra layer you can do. So if you hit LB, that's gonna go to your pass protection. And then what you can do is hit A or X and then use your left stick to move this little M around and that's gonna ID the mic. I like to ID the edge defender. That's just gonna give us a better chance of picking him up. And then we're just going to try to get out. If that linebacker doesn't play it perfectly, that's maybe a touchdown. But that is the exact look we're looking for. Right here. Um, it looks like they actually match our trips and they have a cornerback on the other side of the field. So what I'd like to do is get an extra number over there. I'd run quick base. And, um, you know, they get pretty good sheds. Overall, we had a decent chance of breaking it, but you know, you're giving yourself the numbers every single time when you run the offense like this. Easy six, seven yard gain. Just keep playing the numbers game right here. Here's a perfect example of what, why we want to run quarterback power. Now it's going to be difficult because the safety comes down. We're going to see if we're going to be able to get out, but here we go. That's what we're looking for. They play aggressive like that we can take off with our quarterback so that's the basic gist of what we want to do with trips tight end and in this case you know run the quick base or the inside zone and you're not going to see that look super often against trips tight end with a spread d line and it's just too easy to run in this case you would definitely run inside zone uh, we should get an actual pretty big gain here just like that so like i said just keep playing the numbers game if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to help you guys out. Let's talk about the pass plays. So let's talk about verticals first. Now verticals is a pretty, I would say it was better last year, but what people were doing is they'd wheel their running back and then just kind of read between the corner route from your tight end and your running back wheel route. But I kind of like this seam from Y this year because nothing really plays the seams too well. So let's go ahead and throw it to him against a cover three he's going to be wide open i'd say he's probably your first read most of the time now if they play man coverage against this route combo specifically you're not going to really have anything open except for maybe the cornerback or not the cornerback the corner route and maybe the crosser if he's fast enough but right here the corner route is going to get open versus man coverage he's a really good sharp corner route those aren't too common in this game so right here, it's going to be, it looks like it's a cover zero. In this case, we do not want to run that same route combo. We, we want an actual quick option. So I'm, I might drag, um, might drag X curl Y streak B. And then, you know, do something like this. I think this is actually be pretty good because then we'll have our drag or our corner out open immediately. Well, our drag actually got bagged. And I've talked about it, that in a video. I don't think drags are super amazing this year because they, get bagged quite frequently let's do the same route combo here read the high low on that side of the field get it to our running back you can maybe truck and try to get some extra yards so overall a super solid play like i said if you know it's cover three i would just run it stock well not stock but add the wheel and then run it like this because then you can read the seam from your i want to see if he bombs him he almost does. He's almost fast enough, but I, I wouldn't throw that because in most cases, they're not going to be even close. So like I said, one more time, against man coverage, you'll want to run this setup. Or you could do it like this, actually. You can maybe block your running back and do double drags if you do something like this. That'll be good, too. Okay, so the second part of the scheme is going to be out of pistol week, but real quick before I go into that formation, I just want to show you that you can audible down to it with this personnel and trips. So if you go ahead and just, I'll just randomly come out of something. If you hit extra square and then D-pad left, you'll see our audibles change to pistol week and we can, of course, audible down into it. I just wanted to show you that you do not want to come out in pistol week. You do want to audible down to pistol week. So that's very important because you want to get them out in their trips defense and then you can abuse them with the pistol week you don't want it to be the other way around you can't you can't audible from pistol week to trips tight end it has to be the other way now one thing i will say is the audible does take a little bit of time because this receiver has to move to the other side of the field so 
to avoid doing that every single time, we're actually going to come out in pistol week. But I just wanted to make it a point. You do not come out in pistol week unless maybe you're on the goal line or something. The purpose of this scheme is to always come out and trips tight end. All right, so pistol week, like I've talked about the audibles. And what we're going to do is we'll just come out in... Let's come out on power option because I want to talk about that first. So power option is actually a really good play because you can attack any gap. You can attack both A gaps, both B gaps, and both C gaps. And you get the ball immediately with Lamar. Now, one thing I will say is this running back does not always do a good job at picking up the edge defender. So kind of be wary of that. You might be better off running it to the right side of the field, even though you have pulling players going to the other side, as well as a pitch option going to the left. But I will show you, you can, of course, attack any gap that you want. Maybe outrun this linebacker. He actually trips us up. You can just run up the middle of the field if you want. Like I said, conservative boys, you will fumble if, by taking these hits if you do not have conservative on. So you have been warned. But you see how easy it is just to get upfield with this play? You do not even have to use it as his intent, like which is basically go to the left and play the option. You can just literally run with, with Lamar, which is nice. So I would say this is... I wouldn't say it's your main play. You don't want to be spamming power option every single time because your quarterback will get tired. When he gets tired, he might might even be able to fumble on conservative if he's super tired. So I wouldn't just spam that absolute crap out of this. Well, that linebacker sucks for missing that tackle. But I would say this is a really good play and I would definitely use it. Just don't spam the absolute crap out of it. You will just tire out Lamar and he will cough up the ball. So that's power option. And you can, of course, I'll show it, you know, if you run to the left, you can go to the left as well. I tried pitching it and it just bounced off that defensive end. And, and that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to turn over the ball in this game because whoever turns over the ball first likely loses. Or, I mean, people score super often. So that's one of the last things you want to do. Pitching it is risky. The defense is doing a pretty good job at stopping it, but... Like I said, you can attack any gap, and that's you know the main appeal of that play. Now you have halfback zone weak, and you have triple option. The reason I like triple option is not necessarily to keep it with Lamar or you know even to pitch it to the running back. The reason I like it is so we can hand it off to our running back, I mean our fullback, and run to the right side of the field. So if you go ahead and hold A or X, that'll hand the ball off, and we can attack this side of the field. And we get really good blocking because the tight end's you know, an inline blocker, and I just feel like he holds his block really well. So let's go ahead and audible that. Hold A or X. And it's going to be kind of easy to pick up positive yards with this play. And I, I would like most of the time I wouldn't even, you know, do the read. Uh, because the read's going to be on the back side. As you can see, if you hold RT, you'll see the R. He's the option player. And really, he's not going to be in the play. Regardless of if you hand it off to your, the fullback or not. So let's go ahead and just hand it off to the fullback every single time and that's how i would personally treat the triple option i would just continually hand it off not even make a read just like this and there's our touchdown okay so that's going to be our triple option that's our fullback run and then we have the halfback zone week i did not mean to do that i guess we'll run it this way that's fine And we get good blocking there because it's not the best defensive formation. You know, you're not going to see that often. So I'll show you halfback zone weak here. And overall, you know, everything in tandem is going to be super annoying because, like I said, you can attack every gap. They're going to be in their trips tight end defense. They do not want to play something like this, I can promise you. Right here, we'd actually run the halfback zone weak. It looks pretty appealing. And I don't need to keep spamming these run plays for you guys to understand what's going on. Just make sure you guys have these these plays in your audibles. And then we'll talk about the pass play. I actually really like this pass play. All you're going to do, put your running back on an out route. And I would say your two main reads are your fullback and your running back because they're both going to be open versus zone and man coverage. So we'll just go ahead and run this. These two routes in, in tandem are actually really good. I'll show you that you can literally just keep throwing these.
Probably should have possession caught that. I've showed that to you guys before. The ins and the outs from your running back are routes that you need to incorporate into your offense. They're very, very good, I promise. Does Rat catch that? There's your first down. Just keep checking it down. Once you start doing that, what's going to happen is they're going to start playing maybe hard flats, zero yard hard flats. And I think this guy actually gets open versus man sometimes. Safety did a pretty good job. Then you also have the backside, um, the backside uh, route that's going to be open versus man coverage sometimes. Actually, probably wouldn't throw it there. Yeah, he <laughs> he got super pressed, so I would not throw that. Um, I would actually say it's a, not the best route versus man coverage this year. Traditionally speaking, it was. It was kind of like a curl, um, but in this case, I wouldn't really trust it too much versus man. But like I said, really you're looking at um, pretty much every single route except for the, the backside. Really, all of them could be open. It just kind of depends on what coverage they're in. It's right here. This is going to cook man coverage. And then let me see if this post beats man. I actually don't know if it does because I typically don't look at him. Let me see. Now, the, the post is getting bagged by um, man coverage. And this corner route... While it will get open versus man, I don't fully trust it. Uh, you really just want to check it down, in my opinion. Now, you can come up with other pass plays in this game if you really want to, but I found, like, this was the best play. This might get over the... Uh... No, he got... I got baited hard. <laughs> he did not get over the cloud flat, so don't trust that on a stock cloud flat. Run it one more time. He got bumped. But that's going to be the scheme, guys. I know it was, you know, somewhat short. I don't know if I needed to break down anything more. But if you guys need any help with this scheme or have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I will briefly show you before I forget. Heavy Patriot. You do have, you have Quick Base. You have Quarterback Power. And you have Quarterback Blast. And you actually have some a couple decent pass plays. Mesh Sit and Tight End Spot are both decent. But let's go ahead and just quickly show you. I'll just come out and blast since that's the only one that we're not, that's not in our custom audibles. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Just do random play. And this is just, I don't know. When you come out in this formation, they're going to come out and stuff to just completely sell out on this, on the quarterback run. So it's not my favorite formation to use this year. I mean, it was really good, I think, two years ago. But. It is usable. Um, I would definitely try it out at least. And to see if your opponent has run defense at all. But like I said, people will sell out for for these quarterback runs. And those defenders suck. And then if you really want, you don't want to tire out your quarterback, you can, of course, hand it off to your running back. And you should get decent blocking. Um, I don't know how we didn't get that guy picked up, but it's okay. Just kind of read that middle linebacker, and if you just see he's like really going to blow it up, then you can cut it back a little bit. Quarterback power. That's going to actually give us a little bit better blocking to the right, or it's designed to go to the right as opposed to the blast where you can kind of just take it wherever you want. But yeah, I'm not going to keep spamming these runs. You can see that they sometimes work. They sometimes don't. It's kind of high risk, high reward. But as always, make sure your quarterback is on conservative. All right, so that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said earlier, if we hit 200 likes, I will drop a full offensive scheme for free on this channel. And as always, if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe for that daily Madden 22 content. I'll see you guys later.